All right, so here I wanted to do a quick test of doing the Bird Dog Flex 4K over a PoE access point. This is actually a wireless bridge from Ubiquiti, and I have it going over there. And I also have another one that is wired directly into my Ubiquiti switch. So. Um, this is the second backpack. The other backpack is over there. This pack backpack is being powered via PoE right into my uh, ubiquitous switch. And then I've got a flex out that is also wired going into the HDMI um, into the TV. So what I wanted to do is do a quick test to see what the latency was over Wi-Fi. Um, so here we go. Let's just do this real quick. Oh, here we go. So we do this so we can see that in the TV at the same time. Uh, here we go. So on the left, on the left is the wired, on the right is the um, wireless bridge. And there you go, you can see it right on the screen there. And then here you can see them together. Over. So on the TV is the wired, and then I have a split screen in Ecamm that is that has the NDI directly into Ecamm. And on the, on the right, you can see that there's a little bit of latency with the wireless bridge. So what they say is true, you wanna keep it connected wires. Um, you wanna avoid wireless because you can get more bandwidth out of your wired connection. So I'm using a one gig Cat6 cable directly plugged into, um, <laughs> so I just saw the delay so it distracted me for a second. I am on wireless on the um, on this Mac, but on the screen there's almost unperceptible latency. All right, so I just wanna make a quick video for those who are trying to figure out if they can jerry-rig a wireless NDI connection. I wouldn't recommend it unless the latency uh, doesn't bother you, but I would definitely go with a wired Cat 6. That's it.